Hey there, Chrome users. Ever encountered the frustrating ER underscore quick underscore protocol underscore error in Google Chrome? You're not alone. Stick around and say goodbye to those quick protocol issues. I will show in this video four solutions. Open your Chrome browser. Easy right, type Chrome dollar flags into the address bar and hit enter. Now, in the flags page, use the search bar and type quick. Locate the experimental quick protocol option. Click on the drop down icon next to it and select disabled. Chrome will prompt you to relaunch the browser to apply the changes. Go ahead and click relaunch. If it doesn't work here, is the next solution. Open your Chrome browser. Yes, that's the first and easiest step. Type Chrome to flags into the address bar and hit enter. Now pay attention. Once you're in the flags page, locate the reset all to default button. Give it a good click. It's time to give your browser a fresh start. Click relaunch when prompted. If it doesn't work here, is the next solution. Open your browser. Whether you're using Chrome, Firefox, or Safari, locate and launch your preferred browser. Look for the extensions manager icon. It's usually a puzzle piece or a puzzle icon located in the top right corner of your browser. Find it? Great. Click on Manage Extensions. This will take you to a page where you can see all the extensions installed on your browser. Now it's time to declutter. Disable all third party problematic extensions. Why? Well, some extensions might be causing issues with your browsing experience, and disabling them can help identify the culprit. If it doesn't work here, is the next solution. Search Control Panel. Go ahead and type Control Panel in your search bar. It's like the command center for your computer. Open Control Panel. Once you've located the Control Panel, click to open it. It's your gateway to all things settings and configurations. Click on System and Security. This is where the magic happens. System and Security is like the guardian of your computer's well being. Click on Windows Defender Firewall. Here, we're getting closer to the heart of the matter. Windows Defender Firewall is your shield against unwanted intrusions. Click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Now we're taking control. This is where you decide when and how your firewall does its job. Click here. Yep, it's that simple. Just click on the option that suits your needs. Turning it on or off depending on what works best for you. Click on OK. Seal the deal. Confirm your choice by clicking OK. Your settings are now locked in. I hope this tutorial helped you, so please like, comment, and subscribe.